Hi, I'm Gavin Knox. And I'm Alex Coarse, and tonight we're at the Capstone Theatre. For the 2014 Clapperboard Awards. I'm joined by Ricky Tomlinson at the Clapperboard Awards. So Ricky, uh, how did you get involved with the Clapperboard Awards? Well, obviously anything to do with the movie industry or making pictures or kids involved me. Yeah. Especially if they're from Liverpool. And I've known Maureen for a long, long time. Yeah. And I've, I've done this for a few years, presented a prize or whatever. Mm. Um, because I think anyone who's sort of established or semi-established has got a duty to come and give a little bit back. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've been amazing. Like this year, I've been off to, to South Africa and doing a movie with Sasha Baron Cohen. And oh, wow. I'm doing, just getting ready now for the new Mike, Mike Bassett movie. That's why the beards are. But then I also <laughs> believe that we should do... Yeah. Low budget movies. Mm, yeah. I, I believe if you can afford it and you're a name or a bit of a face, you should go out there and you should do it. You, you owe it to the kids, you owe it to the production company, and you owe it to the industry. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm pretty, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty fierce about that. You know, yeah. I think you've got to give something back. But not everyone makes it in this game. It's difficult, yeah. isn't it? It's, you, know, you know, and particularly kids, you've got to give them whatever help you can. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, and kids like it is one of my things. I, I support one or two charities and, and I really, really enjoy doing it because they're for the grace of God, you know. Are there well, any particular no. issues that uh, Copperboard have dealt with in the past that yeah, you felt really strongly to? Well, no, I, I, love it. I, love, I love all the movies yeah. and I love the way they're done and I think one year I was here with Jimmy McGovern, you know. Oh, right. And Jimmy McGovern was absolutely, I think Jimmy maybe even written one of the scripts and it was, gra it was great but what I, what I like it. These kids are making movies with next to nothing, yeah, yeah. But, but raw talent and enthusiasm and the will to make something work. And we've got to harness that. Yeah. We've got to harness it in whatever way we can. And we've got to encourage them. This is the first time um, we celebrated here at Hope University's Caxton Theatre. And what a great venue for all the students that come here. Friends asked me to co host this year's Black Water Boards here at Hope University's Capstone Theatre. I know you're all really nervous, the people who are known these and stuff are really nervous. Just hope it together, it'll be fine. Uh, and uh, so I've, been, I've been trying to do this job for years, trying to hook up the morning, but of course, schedules permit uh, this time I've been able to do it. Uh, this year's six short films were judged by acclaimed writer and, in my opinion, genius Frank Cottrell Boyce, award winning producer Nicola Schindler from Red Productions as well as Clapboard's ex-volunteer and now BBC Entertainment researcher, Amy Campbell. Okay, we are joined by... So what's your surname, Leon? So My surname is Neil Fitzmorris. 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 It's capital F-I-T-Z-M-A-U-R-I-C-E. -E. That is who we are joined by tonight. I so. want to know which one of you invented Apple. Because one of you clearly <laughs> invented Apple. <laughs> There's got to be an Apple Just ask for their time. Just ask for time. We're revolutionaries in the technological Every world next year. You know you are. We know. <laughs> so you put, you know what, as we've done this interview, three barbers have gone out of business. Because they damn refuse, they point blank refuse to have any of that scissor over comb nonsense. Go ahead, guys. I'm scared of barbers, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared of barbers. Yeah. Um, so, how did you get involved with the Clapperboard Awards then? I was really drunk in a pub one night. Oh, right. And, okay. uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I, I, I've known Maureen Sinclair for um, about 15 years. Oh, okay. So, um, she's asked me a couple of times to come and present an award or to do something like this. And I've always been busy, it's always been a schedule mm. thing. So this year she asked me and, uh, and I've just finished the job so I had a bit of spare time. So, so, so I'm, I'm co-presenting the awards tonight. What Clapperboard do is an amazing thing. Maureen is, um, is an inspirational figure, you know. Mm. She's, um, she does this non-profit organisation. She does this because she genuinely loves uh, trying to help the creative arts out yeah. in the Northwest, in, in Liverpool and Greater Manchester area. And she's fantastic at it, you know. Yeah. She's, She's got so much energy, so much enthusiasm, and um, she's a real kind of role model for... Yeah. I mean, let's be honest with you, it's getting harder and harder to do films and to make films and to do stuff like that, so you need... The inspiration has to come from somewhere. You and need someone like that, don't And you? the yeah. kids down here doing these little films, who knows what they're going to go on to, you know? I don't know. You've got to give them the opportunities. You've got to give them the Do you think that the kids need, like, arts for, like, a healthy development in their younger years? Absolutely. I mean, Liverpool's an incredible city now, and, uh, uh, and it's, it's really on the up, but... You know, I can remember Liverpool when it was a dark, dark yeah, place, exactly. and, and and there are still areas that, are, that, 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 that where kids don't know about the arts. They really yeah. don't. They yeah. they think it's something that they're not allowed to be involved in. And Clapperboard and Maureen and what what she does and what everyone on the team does is is saying to kids in inner city areas and in schools and stuff, come and have a go. You can do yeah. this, you know. And yeah. uh, and uh, and it's brilliant because 
you know, there are future filmmakers downstairs right now. Yeah. I started acting when I was about 11. Yeah. I knew what I want, always knew I wanted to do that. And then exactly. work experience come up in school. Mm. And they just said, oh, um, what are you going to do for that week? Everyone goes and does work experience. Yeah. And the lady who did the work experience in my school said, oh, I know Maureen. Yeah. Go and Thanks see what that's about. Which was interesting, it was good to see, but it, it was... I suddenly then discovered more and I wasn't aware of Blackboard, I wasn't aware of what she did. Yeah. And it was so sort of, I don't know, inspiring mm -hmm. in because she's so giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and for what she stands for and what Blackboard stands for. Yeah. So, I mean, when it comes to like judging a film, because I mean, how, how do you even begin to sit down and judge a film? I mean, it's obviously, obviously you know, you're telling your films say, that's oh, crap, that's good, but I mean, when it comes to like, you know, you've got a selection of films to choose, oh, what do you look at? What do you look for? I literally, I was talking, I was talking before to the guy downstairs because I was so, um, I was stuck really stuck yeah. it took me all week properly all week because <laughs> I watched them on the Monday and then went yeah that, that that's the one that's our guy yeah. and then went no it's not it's not it's so not um, so you go back and review them and look yeah. at them again then you look at you look at the kids doing them yeah, they're yeah. all so fantastic because when I was yeah. some of the kids are like five, six some of them yeah. and you're like it's impressive isn't it yeah like yeah. really the confidence and the, 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 the natural sort of ability yeah, yeah. and and then the message behind the films. So I re I, d I just in the end I chose the one that struck me yeah, yeah. on a on a sort of wow. Yeah. We're with uh, Jessica Forrest. Hi. Hi Jessica, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. How are you guys? Very well. Yeah. You having a good evening? Really, really nice evening. So. Is this far. your first copperboard uh, award you've been to? No, I've been to quite a few. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an avid fan, I'm a supporter. And, and your first time presenting tonight. <laughs> it is, it is, it is your yeah. first time presenting. First time presenting. Exciting. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> how, do you, how, how, how did you get involved in it originally? I mean, what was your sort of. Um, I met Maureen. When did I meet Maureen? It must have been like at an event somewhere in mm. Liverpool. When I first started Hollyoaks, that was in 2010. Oh. That was like four years ago. Um, and she just asked me to get involved, so I said I would. And it's just been great. I've been like working with the children in the classrooms, doing oh, okay. the workshops. Um, and that was like a couple of years ago. Mm. And I've just been to all the award ceremonies. Okay, so you say you sort of got quite a hands-on sort of involvement within the group as well then? I can't say this year I did it yeah. last year, but the year before that yeah, I did yeah. quite, <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. I moved away, so... Oh, fair enough. But I've come back to You're back. You're help back. out. Yeah, back. Come back. Are there any certain social issues that Copperboard cover or anything that uh, really draws you towards them? I just, I just think it's a really nice opportunity for like children as well to yeah. experiment in the classroom. Like, obviously it's great, the issues you address like the bullying, all the crime, and that's yes. everything, like horrible issues. But also they like get a chance to work with cameras and like experience what it's like to the industry sort of things. So if mm -hmm. they want to get involved and they really enjoy it, like we never got the opportunity to do that. At school, yeah. So yeah. it's always exciting when someone comes into the classroom. You don't. Know. <laughs> Especially if they got a camera. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so I mean, what, I mean, with uh, you know, bombing club, what sort of advice would you give to say children who are you know, or young people who are looking to get into the the industry as oh, it were? The industry, it's a tough cookie to crack. <laughs> no, uh, it depends what you want to do. If you want to act. Yeah. Then just stick at it, do loads and loads of drama, do it at college maybe. Mm. If you do any performances, get it on tape, make sure they're all recorded because everyone's going digital. Of course. Of send course. it to agents. If you want to get an agent, you need to get representation. So send it to them with like pictures and a little bio of yourself. Mm. If you want to do the camera side, which I don't know a lot about, <laughs> but I imagine you need to go and study that and then maybe mm. get an apprenticeship or like a work experience. That's always the big one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Experience, experience. Just stick at it. Yeah. 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 We're joined by Paris Omar at the Clapboard Awards. So Paris, um, how did you get involved with the Clapboard Awards? Oh, well, I'm in also as cast and agency. Okay. And I've come along today to present an award. Okay. But, I mean, I think it's really interesting and it's lovely to see what children are getting involved with. So. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, so, I mean yeah. What do you think of like the social aspects and the social development that uh, the youth project uh, Copperboard helps to try to create through its films and things? I mean, children these days, yeah. I think it's great that they're getting you know educated on mm. the new things and um, it sort of develops them and educates them in the film business. It makes them more interactive with others. Yeah. So I think that's good and 
you know, I love acting and I think it's good that kids are getting involved with acting from an early age. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's saying to people how important it is to have these sort of things, you know, for where kids yeah. can, you know, actually access, you know, somewhere where they can show a film, somewhere they can act. Yeah. You know, sort of, I mean, do, do you work with sort of kids in schools as well through your agency or is it more they sort of can send to you by? Um, it's just sort of people from our agency. Yeah. But, I mean, our agency, we meet loads of different people and um, loads of different ages. So it's interesting to see, you know, loads, a range of age, age groups at Hogwarts. The winner is Emma McGee! The winner is Kelsey Corrin for Emma. <laughs> For the best music award, um, and deservedly so, we are all the same, we are won't we? So we would like to present the Alison Stephen Award to Crosby Del Sol. She's a nervous wreck when these nights are on, mm -hmm. and yet she spent the entire year getting it all together. Uh, so let's all join together and give a little bit back to someone who's given so much, uh, for as long as I've known her, uh, to the wonderful, the fabulous Maureen Sinclair. <laughs> It was good to see that Liverpool's got a wealth of uh, young talent just uh, you know, waiting to show itself. And did you have a favourite film? I think I enjoyed... We Are People Too? We Are People Too the most. It was a really great yeah. film, really great film. Yeah, I won the, won the award for the best film. Both two awards, isn't it? Yeah. It was a really good film. Uh, I really enjoyed actress, it. I think. Well, did you enjoy those as well the most? Uh, groundbreaking. It yeah. really was groundbreaking. Well, how did you think of the night overall? A laugh? Uh, good fun. Good and, fun. And, um, Enjoyable, wasn't it? Who knows, maybe we'll be back next year. I hope so. I can only hope so. <laughs>